What's going on guys? Welcome back to the High PSI Performance YouTube channel. I'm JD and this morning we've got the dyno blown apart. The uh, brakes that they're air powered brakes that slam up against the roll to keep the roll from spinning when we pull vehicles on and off. Uh, the original brake pads well they're like a rubber pad that we had on there failed and we made some out of a trash tire and those held up for quite a long time but they ripped the rivets out finally so got the dyno apart so we can get them fixed put some new rivets in there and hopefully they last for a year maybe two um, got our hemi motor on the stand we're gonna start putting it back together and then y'all seen last week me putting together that motor for Jeff's SRT4 so we're gonna carry on with both those projects while we get the dyno finished and I also know last week I left you with a pull on that C7 that we did the cam job. Had to pull it off the dyno so we can get the dyno fixed and then we'll get that car back on the dyno hopefully here in the next few hours today and get that one finished out. Um, I don't think I showed you guys with the last pull. You know, I made, I made like two or three pulls on it. What it made, but I think it was sitting at like 480 something. So almost 500 wheel, just an intake cam tune. So let's get after it. John over here looking at me crazy because I stopped him from putting this transmission in. But the reason why I stopped him, got the old tranny out, got our new Ben Calamer transmission on the jack with our brand new McLeod clutch. So all the components have been changed out and we're ready to go back together with it. As you just witnessed, we did make a couple of pulls on our GT, ugh, on our Terminator, our Cobra. Uh, update on our S550 with the Ben Calmer transmission. Everything went smooth with the install. During reinstallation, notice two of the bushings were missing on the shifter on the inside. And uh, fortunately reached out to Ashton Performance, the other shop that we do business with all the time which that's what this charger right here just came from. Picked them up from the, picked it up from their shop. We're gonna throw a tune on this one real quick. Anyways, they had a used Bartlett shifter. Uh, so I was able to pick that up from them and get the bushing. Still gotta talk to the customer, see if he wants it, but I went ahead and picked it up anyways, just so that way we had the parts here. If he did want it, and we could get his car wrapped up and back to him. In the meantime, while I wait for, uh, to find out whether we're gonna install it or not, We've got this car strapped down on the dyno, the 6-1 car, and we're going to throw a tune on it real quick, see what kind of power it makes, and then I just got a message back from HP Tuners to try something on our 2021, well 2020 G that we had an issue with the ECU. So let's get after it, let's tune this one real quick, and then we'll move on to the G.
once I got the charger done. I didn't film all the runs just due to not have, I didn't want to get in and out of the car. I've got several cars I got to get on the dyno today. So, left a few runs in there for you. This one's wrapped up. Let me show you where it finished out. Focus. 416 horsepower, 456 foot pounds of torque. So, I don't really know what all's done to this car. It came from a dealership and then ended up at Ashton's shop for a vehicle inspection. And then a customer said he wanted a tune. But uh, it's got an exhaust. It does have a little camshaft in it. You can hear it. And then looking a little closer inspection at the motor. If we see right here, we've got some ARP head studs. So there's probably maybe the heads have been worked or maybe when they did the cam they put ARPs in maybe it used to have a blower on it and it doesn't anymore who knows either way car sounds good made good power so I'm gonna strip this one off and uh, I think I think we we got word back from HP tuners so I think I might put the Jeep back on try to get it knocked out uh, assuming I can get in the ECU so We'll find out shortly. Let's get it. Almost sneeze there. <laughs> Almost sneeze there. It's Thursday, guys. Um, it's just been crazy. We've been so busy, which is wonderful. Um, I don't think I mentioned anything this week, but unfortunately, uh, Lane is no longer with us. Not going to go into details, but uh, I wish him the best of luck. Excuse me. I enjoyed your company while you were here, brother. Anyways, uh, got the gremlin on the dyno this morning, getting ready for IFO, it's next weekend, but I am finally got the car to the point where we can put on the dyno. Um, got Jason's car back, this is the one y'all seen in a couple episodes back. Uh, it's got the 426, so we, did, we pulled the Whipple off, put a Pro Charger on it, a uh, sheet metal intake manifold. Race center cooler, race blow off valve, the works. Uh, and uh, I don't remember if I showed the power numbers or not in the video because he didn't want me to post the video before an event. But that event has already passed and I'm late on posting the video. So I want to say it made over 800 horsepower or right at 8. Can't remember. But great power. Car is fast as hell. And we are now installing some carbon fiber bits onto the car. So Got a carbon fiber rear uh, diffuser going on. Um, I think a carbon piece in the front of the car as well. And maybe a carbon lip. I haven't pulled all the parts out, but I will show you guys all the parts when they're on the car. We've got the new clutch installed on this one. And uh, I think I discussed about the shifter issue. We ended up getting another shifter for the customer. It's another Bartlett, or Barton, excuse me, Barton shifter. And that's installed. So that is a wrap. That's going to be a wrap on that one. As soon as we pull it down, we'll put the top part of the shifter together and then that one will be done and we'll get back on our project Celine. So that's what we got going on. Let's get after it on this Thursday morning. Our motor build on our charger is back in the chest. So we've got the cam in, all the lifters, new water pump because the stock one was on its way out. So we've got a few more things to button up on the motor, and then uh, we've got these catless mid pipes going on. Not sure what brand is. Uh, oh, stainless works. So we're putting those on. And I think that is it on that one. So hopefully. Tomorrow we'll be firing this thing up for the first time. While John's been working on that, 
been over here working on Royce's Corvette. Uh, as you can see, I've got some buttons hanging out there. So the front button is for the line lock, and the back button activates the trans brake and the two step at the same time. And then also on this last switch right here, wired up the fan. So that is the fan for the trans cooler. So along with two of the other switches that get flipped on when the car gets started, that one will get flipped on as well. So also, sorry, it's a mess in here. I've been doing a bunch of wiring and all sorts of stuff. But as you can see, we have the bracket installed as well for our parachute so I've got to figure uh, got to get the, the line ran up here and get it mounted in and then uh, we'll get our cable attached and then we'll be able to deploy our parachute you see I got the cable in here right here so still got to get that figured out and sorted but she is coming right along. I need to pull power. Got a distribution block under the hood. Well, she is a dusty. We'll get her all cleaned up. There's a distribution block over here. I gotta tap into to get power to my relays. Uh, I just need power to one, actually one of the relays. But anyways get power running there. I got two wires to run to the clutch bypass so that way we no longer have to press the clutch in anymore. Now that it's an auto we're still pressing the clutch in to get it to start. Uh, so I got to get that disconnected and rewired so because there's a safety switch on the shifter and get it wired into the shifter and then the car will start when the shifter is in the park position. So got to do that and run that power wire and then I gotta build something for the switches build a switch panel to something to bolt them in so they're not all dangling around and we will be one step closer to getting this thing on the dyno get it retuned on the auto and uh, get ready to make our first passes down the track Alright guys, we are on the next day, and as you can hear, the B5 Blue is up and running, strapped down on the dyno. We got this thing fired up real quick this morning, and finished putting the whole front end of the car back together, and I didn't film that, because I was too busy getting the Gremlin on the rack. Pop the head gasket in the Gremlin. So, we have an event this weekend, so we're going to thrash, and see if we can get it ready. But in the meantime, enjoy some pools on the B5 car. Alright guys, so unfortunately, you just seen the head gasket let go. <laughs> It, it, uh, it Yellowstone National Park that ass. Um, and we have a race this Sunday. So uh, I talked to Shannon, our machinist, and he said, whatever I need. So I'm about to thrash on this thing, get the head off of it, see what kind of damage we've, unfortunately, pull the head off this thing and see what kind of carnage is underneath it. Um, I can see down in the front over here, the head gasket's pushed out near cylinder one. So hopefully we pull it off and the head's savable. Hopefully we didn't scorch a piston. Um, and hopefully the block isn't scorched either. Uh, we weren't squeezing the car super hard. It was on you know, 20 degrees of timing, 32 pounds of boost. The car seemed way more than that. So uh, I think this is just kind of a fluke thing. So let's get it tore down, see where uh, what kind of damage we have.
Well, guys, there's the damage. Looks like our piston was fine. Let me grab a towel here. Wipe the coolant out of the cylinder. All right. Now we can see, you know? Uh, looks like it just pushed it out the side there. There's no damage to the piston whatsoever. But that gasket sure did, sure did fail. Take a look at our block here. Looks like some minor, minor scoring on the block. Let's see if I can't get uh, Shannon over here to take a look at the block. Make sure the block is okay, but everything else looks good. All the other pistons look good. Can't really. Everything looks good. So hopefully, just clean this thing up. I'll call it good. I don't know. I'll talk to my machine and see what he says. But unfortunately, I can't say the same for the race head. She is damaged. 